In today's video, I'm going to show you how to live stream a surveillance IP camera, in this case, a Reolink IP camera, from Synology's surveillance station out to YouTube. Welcome to the channel. My name is Tony, and if this is your first time with us, please consider subscribing to the channel and hit that little bell so that you're alerted to when I release new content. That being said, let's hop over to the computer and get started with today's video. Okay guys, you're not going to believe how simple of a process this is, thanks in part to Synology's surveillance station. So we're going to be working with Synology's surveillance station and within YouTube. The first thing you need to do is set up the YouTube live stream. So I'm in my YouTube demo account and I'm going to come up to the create button here and we're going to click on go live. Here you can see YouTube is setting up your live stream and you would do your basic setup. You could edit your parameters here by giving it a name. We're just going to leave it at demo one live stream for now. I am going to change this to private because I don't really want anyone to see this. This is just for the purpose of this tutorial. And I'm going to change my category over to how to. I could add a thumbnail if I want, and I'm going to make sure that this says, no, it's not made for kids. And I'm going to go ahead and say, save. Now you can see up in this corner here, YouTube is asking us to connect the streaming software so that we can go live. And you're going to need this information here. You're going to need your YouTube stream key and your stream URL. You can set your latency. I'm just going to leave it set to low latency for now. The next step is to hop over to surveillance station. Let's click on the application center. And in the application center, we want to come over to the left menu where it says live view and under live broadcast, you can see it says stopped here. If it says stop, just simply click on run. Once the status changes to running, go ahead and click on open. In this dialog box, we're going to set the live broadcast stream parameters. You can see that the stream is currently set to off. In this section here, we'll enter our YouTube settings. And these are the settings that I showed you in the live stream section. For the purpose of this video, I already have mine entered and saved. In the bottom section under live stream source, this is where you select the camera that you want to stream out to YouTube. You can only select the cameras that are currently set up in Synology surveillance station. So you can see, I only have two cameras, the lab cam, which is the real link camera and the Synology live cam, which is my mobile phone. So we're going to leave it set to lab cam. I can also adjust the stream profile. If I wish my choices are high quality, balanced and low bandwidth. We're going to leave it set to balance for this video. Next, I'm going to enable the stream within live broadcast by clicking here and I'm going to save. If we jump back over to the live stream in YouTube, we should see our stream any minute now. And there you go. Let me just adjust that camera for you. So YouTube studio is telling us that we have an excellent connection. This is the live stream from the real link camera. If I come up to the share icon, I can copy the YouTube URL. Let me pop open a new window and paste it in. And this is what the live viewer would see. Let's go back into YouTube studio and click on end stream. And then you have the option of editing your stream in the studio. For the purpose of this video, again, I'm just going to dismiss. If you found any value in today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out some of my other videos up above. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share. And thank you guys for using my Amazon affiliate links. I know they don't change your price, but they do help out the channel. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. As always, please stay safe. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.